This presentation is uh, designed to provide you with a brief history of newborn screening and to bring you up to date on current screening and, and some of the issues. Uh, at least three uh, events uh, led up to newborn screening before Guthrie came on the scene. The first is the development of the concept of an uh, inborn era of metabolism. The concept was developed by this gentleman, uh, Archibald Garrard, Sir Archibald Garrard, a, a distinguished uh, physician in England uh, back in the early 1900s, uh, and uh, from a family of distinguished physicians. Uh, Garrard uh, conceived of inborn errors of metabolism um, on the basis of the following. Um, he said that uh, the metabolites in the body, whether we take them in as part of food or, or whether we make them, uh, have to be converted to other metabolites. Uh, this slide uh, depicts them as a substrate uh, to be converted to a product. And he knew that the, the uh, catalyst for that conversion was an enzyme. Uh, but he said that there are certain individuals born with what he called an inborn era of metabolism. Uh, by that he meant that they had a uh, inborn, uh, born with uh, a defect uh, in their ability to convert the substrate to the product, uh, a defect that we now know is in the enzyme, um, uh, uh, which begins, of course, as a genetic mutation uh, in which they cannot uh, produce this uh, metabolic change. Uh, and he further said in his famous Croonian lectures of 1907 before the Royal uh, uh, Society of Medicine uh, in England uh, that they uh, advertise their presence, meaning the inborn errors of metabolism, in some conspicuous way, either by some strikingly unusual appearance of surface tissues or of excreta. Uh, by the excretion of some substance which responds to a test. Now, the second uh, important event that led to newborn screening uh, was the, uh, you might say, further proof of the inborn air metabolism. It was the discovery of PKU in uh, 27 years after uh, the Croonian lectures uh, in individuals who uh, are, were retarded, uh, sometimes very severely retarded. Uh, the, uh, co the development, the, the, the discovery of PKU really illustrated very much of what Garrett said. Uh, basically, uh, it uh, um, uh, advertises its presence uh, in a conspicuous way by the excretion of uh, a substance that responds to a test. In this case, PKU responds uh, to the fer ferric chloride test in urine uh, such that uh, in a normal urine, when one adds ferric chloride, uh, one gets no color change shown by this tube in the middle. And on either side, uh, uh, tubes containing urine from individuals with uh, PKU, um, in which there is a deep uh, green, almost black reaction to the presence of ferric chloride in the urine, which uh, indicates the presence of phenylpyruvic acid, a metabolite of phenylalanine in the urine. And of course, Again, the metabolic pathway uh, that is disrupted in by PKU illustrates the inborn error metabolism. In the normal situation, uh, phenylalanine is normally converted to tyrosine under the influence of an enzyme, uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase, PAH, and that in PKU, uh, this enzyme is defective and therefore phenylalanine does not normally get converted to tyrosine and accumulates in large quantities and we know produces the hyperphenylalaninemia of PKU. The third event that led to newborn screening, uh, the very important event, was the discovery of a diet for PKU. Uh, in 1953, some 19 years after the discovery of PKU, it was discovered, uh, interestingly enough, by a uh, German physician who was a fellow in training at the time at the Children's Hospital in Birmingham, England. Horst Bickel uh, developed the diet uh, that showed uh, that there could be reduction, that is biochemical uh, correction of the uh, abnormalities in PKU and as a matter of fact could also at the same time uh, benefit individuals with PKU. Now, these